Let us pray. Renew and nourish by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son. We ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And today, before the final blessings, I want to wish all of you a happy, all the men, you know, happy Father's Day. Rudy, happy Father's Day to you. And uh, I want to wish a special, you know, I'm, I'm very, I try not to put my personal life in my, my, my ministry and stuff, but I want to wish my father, my dad, Mr. Rudolph Mark, a happy Father's Day. And uh, a lot of the good qualities that are emulated in being studious, you know, I was a kid when I stayed with him. You know, he would wake me up early in the morning, like around 4 o'clock, when he's doing his part of work. He was a, a broadcast engineer, so he worked on the technical side. And, uh, and he was also teaching uh, to uh, one of the public high school, the biggest public high school in Liberia. He was teaching them electronics. And so he wakes up early to do his teaching work and prepare his lesson and correct papers, and he wake me up to study. And that became part of my system, that nobody, I don't need an alarm clock to wake up because it's being in my, my youth, my young days, you know. And, and so that, that, that's something that I really respect of him. And he tried to be a responsible man, you know, and, and, and looking back, that's something that really impacted my life, that nobody needed to wake me up to do my job. I'm always on it. And so I want to wish him a happy Father's Day. In 2018, I had the opportunity to, to, to just take him. We went to the Holy Land. We went to Rome and Paris, you know. We made a pilgrimage uh, to, to Rome, to Italy. And that was a very special spiritual time, you know, that, okay, all along, you know, he's been my father. And then when I became a priest, he calls me Father Mark, you know, yeah. You know, but what is amazing is that I wanted him to enter into the sacredness of my life and ministry. And I was able to take him. We went to, 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 to Rome. Uh, we stay at the SVD generally, where I have a lot of friends there. And uh, we, we went to St. Peter's Basilica. I did a private mass in St. Peter's Basilica with him, you know, and just show him this is this church that you baptized me in. Now I'm showing you this church from an insider, from the role of a priest that you give birth to a priest. So, uh, and so that was a special time in our life. And then we went to Paris, went to Notre Dame Cathedral before it got burned, you know. And, and, and then I did mass at the, at the, the, the Holy Trinity, it's called Trinitat uh, Parish there in, in Paris. So I thank God for the opportunity, you know, of just being able to have a father and also to be able to take him now on my wings you know, because it's a two-way street, you know, and, and I'm grateful for that gift of fatherhood. And I try to be a good uncle to my niece, Margaret, you know, to show her love, to show her affection, to teach her in the way of the Lord and things like that. And finally, I want to say happy Father's Day to a few fathers, the figures that I've encountered. I know when I did my apostolate in Louisiana in 2004, 2005, there's Gerald Boudreaux, you know, Gerald Boudreau, he just lost his daughter, Brittany, and I'll be preparing his other daughter, Whitney, for our marriage coming up in August. You know, so uh, Boudreau, you know, Jules Edwards, you know, Raymond Mallory, you know, all those guys, uh, Tracy Christian, the young, uh, good guys that try to be good fathers. And then uh, uh, in St. Louis, you know, I have one of my buddies who was so, he's been so good to me in, in the parish, Patrick Coster. You know, he gave a lot of his resources, personal resources, 
to support the preschool program in St. Louis, Patrick Custer, you know, and I remember him in his mass also, and I ask God's blessings to be upon him, you know, uh, and, and all the fathers that I encountered, Don Elster, you know, good and righteous man, you know, he's a good father in St. Louis. Then when I went to Iowa, you know, the Sundermans, you know, Sam Sunderman. Sam said, Father, you are my son too, because I think I'm the age of one of his sons. You know, they, they hear his wife, they got married, and maybe before I was even born or something like that. But uh, Sam Sunderman, you know, from Iowa, and all the other good fathers in Iowa there, I wish you all God's blessings and happy Father's Day. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. And our closing hymn is A Cappella, Lead Me, Lord. And it's in the Lighthouse Hymn number 11. Blessed are the poor in spirit, longing for their Lord. For God's coming kingdom shall be theirs. Blessed are the sorrowing, for they shall be consoled. And the meek shall come to rule the world. Lead me, Lord. Lead me, Lord, by the light of truth to seek and to find a narrow way. Be my way, be my truth, be my life, my Lord, and lead me, Lord, today. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall be theirs, and the pure in heart shall see their God. Blessed are the hunger only holiness can fill, for I say they shall be satisfied. Lead me, Lord, Lead me, Lord, by the light of truth to seek and to find the narrow way. Be my light, be my truth, be my life, my Lord, and lead me, Lord, today. And lead me, Lord, Today, in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. St. Joseph, patron of all fathers, pray for us. Thank you, Rudy. Thank you, Margaret.